How to customize a Google Form from the NGPF website. This is video four of a series of videos to help you utilize Google Forms more often and maybe efficiently in your classroom. My name is Amanda Voltz. I am a Google Certified Educator and Personal Finance Teacher at St. Clair High School in St. Clair, Michigan. And I am going to show you how just to customize your Google Form assignment which um, I, in previous videos, showed you where to find the Google Forms and how to save them to your drive. And for today, or for this example video, I'm going to show you how to customize an exit ticket. So I'm pulling the exit ticket from this lesson right here from the semester course, which is mobile banking and payment apps. And the last thing that students will do is complete an exit ticket using Google Forms. So how you can customize this, which you can use any of the um, Google Forms assignments or assessments exactly how they are on the website, but one of the wonderful things about the NGPF curriculum is you can use it exactly how it is or you can customize it to your needs. So if I wanted to customize this a bit, I'm in the editing window of Google Forms and I could go in and change maybe this title. So I don't want it to be, I want it to be titled that for my records and what I will see as the file name, but for students, I might instead change it to what the lesson was, which is mobile banking and payment apps. And I could put mobile banking and payment apps exit ticket as my um, title instead, a way to customize. I then have it automatically collecting email addresses. That's part of the settings toggle, which I am going to go over all of the setting op options in a later video. Students will type in their first and last name. And then here's something I typically customize that instead of um, their uh, typing in their hour or their class period, instead of making that short answer, I am going to make that a drop down option. So I teach five hours of the same financial management course. So I am going to put every hour, my prep hour is fifth hour, but I do have a sixth hour. So now a way I customize this is instead of typing in the hour, they can select it from a drop down. And this is a required question, so students have to answer it. And then in this exit ticket, it consists of three short answer questions. And I like all of those, but I think I want to add just one more at the very end. So I can click on this last question. So I want to click on it to kind of know or tell Google Forms where I'm at in that form. And then I'm just going to click on this button here, which is add a question. And the last question in this particular lesson, students are looking at um, different um, mobile payment apps. So I might ask them a question like, um, which mobile payment app discussed in class have you used before or have um, interest in using in your, um, or have interest in using? I could just say that. Um, so I can put both of those. Um, there you go. I have something called Grammarly, that which automatically corrects the grammar. Um, so I'm adding that quick question in there, and I don't want it to be multiple choice. I'm going to have it as a paragraph response, so I, they have space to write a long answer text. And similar to these questions, do you see there's a small um, red asterisk next to those questions? That means that they are required. So a student could not submit this form to me or move on to a next section or in this case just submit it without answering something for that question. So there, I just kind of customized this. I could also go in and customize the theme if that's something important to you where I can click on this theme. I could pick a different like header image or like again, it's, it's how far I'll pick this just to show you when I select it. It goes from kind of a plain form to now I have some sort of header image and I can change any of those themes if I want to. So now up here at the top, I can click this preview button and that will show me what it looks like when the students fill it out. So they have now an image on there. I've changed the title. They have their email address, their first and last name. And now for the hour, it's just a drop down instead of text. And then I have one, two, three, four questions in there. And I noticed something I didn't do. Do you see that there's point values here? And I didn't create one for my question. So I'm going to close out of that preview. I'm going to go down here. And within this answer key, I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to make this also worth two points because it's a little bit short answer. That gets me at seven. Actually, I like the six better, so I'm going to make it one. My total here is six points. I click done, 
And now I go back to my preview, which I do frequently, and I can scan this and look and see what students will also see. So it, all of the Google Forms are completely customizable for you to use in your classroom, or again, you can use them directly from the website.